in this video i will show you a rc series circuit and in this video i will show you the phasor diagram of this rc series circuit with all the steps after that i will show you the voltage triangle of this rc series circuit in the next video i will show you the impedance impedance triangle and power triangle of this RC series circuit and in a separate video I will show you the power equation of this RC circuit okay now let me proceed with the circuit see we have a resistor R which is in series with a capacitor C in this circuit we are applying an alternating voltage V the alternating voltage V is given by V equal to V M sine omega T as this is a total series circuit let's say the current I is flowing through all over the circuit consider V as the RMS value of the applied voltage and how do we get the RMS value of this applied voltage by dividing the maximum value of the ap applied voltage with root over 2 as a result the current I is flowing in the circuit I is the RMS value of the alternating current flowing in the circuit and we will get the RMS value of this alternating current by dividing the maximum value of the current with root 2 let's say the voltage across the resistor is V R and the voltage across the capacitor is V C the voltage absorbed or the voltage dropped across the resistor R is V R which will be equal to I into R and the voltage absorbed by this capacitor will be equal to I into X C see the voltage V R and V C will be RMS value because if I apply an alternating voltage with a frequency of F you will see this R and this XC capacitive reactance XC will be a fixed quantity and here we are taking the VR and VC by multiplying the resistor or capacitive reactance with RMS current so VR and VC will be RMS value and this XC is the capacitive reactance which is calculated by using this formula x equal to 1 by twice phi f c now see as i have a total series circuit here i can easily apply kvl or kishop's voltage law in this circuit okay see as i will draw the phasor diagram i will apply kishop's voltage law kvl in phasor form there I will get summation of voltage rises will be equal to summation of voltage drops here summation of voltage rises will be equal to V as I am taking the phasor phasor is one kind of vector so I will take a vector sign here equal to resistance voltage drop phasor plus capacitor voltage drop phasor vr plus vc let's say this is our equation number one here our vr is given by i r and vc is given by i x c let's say this is our equation number two v equal to v phasor is equal to ir phasor plus i x c phasor if i add the VR phasor and VC phasor I will get our applied voltage phasor V of this circuit now I will show you the vector diagram or phasor diagram of the series RC circuit we have to draw the vector diagram that means we have to find the 
applied voltage by taking the sum of voltage absorbed by the resistor and voltage across the capacitor. When we have to draw a phasor diagram. At first, we have to define a reference phasor, which will be remain same all over the circuit. In the series RC circuit, you will see the current I will same all over the circuit. Therefore, I will take the current I as a reference phasor and I will represent that current phasor with line segment OA and I will take the reference phasor in plus X axis. Okay, choose the current I as the reference phasor as it remains same all over the circuit or throughout the circuit. So, when drawing the phasor diagram, if this is our origin, this OA will represent our current phasor I. In the circuit, we have only resistor and capacitor. In case of a pure resistor, if I have a resistor here, if the voltage drop across the resistor is R and the current flow equal to I, in a resistor, the voltage drop VR and the current I remains in phase. In phase, that means the angle between the VR and I will be 0 degree. That means they will be going in the same direction. If this blue line segment indicates our current segment as V and I are in phase, they will go in the same direction. So, I will take I in this direction and also V in this direction. Okay, so this will be our phasor in case of a pure resistor and in case of a pure capacitor VC lacks I by 90 degree or I leads VC by 90 degree that means if I have a capacitor C if the voltage across the capacitor is VC and the charging current is IC you'll see VC lacks I by 90 degree that means if I take VC in this direction if I want to go in the current phasor I have to move by an angle of plus 90 degree or in or a 90 degree in counterclockwise direction or I leads VC by 90 degree that means if I take let's say I in this direction if I want to go from current phasor to voltage phasor I have to move by an angle of 90 degree but in clockwise direction ok so we can represent the voltage and current phasor in a capacitor like this whatever the direction of the current and voltage there must be a 90 degree displacement between the current and voltage phasor in case of a capacitor see here previously I have drawn the current phasor I in this direction and this I is the current that is flowing through the resistor and the capacitor ok so after taking the phasor I will draw the voltage phasor VR and I will denote that with OB and that will be in phase with the reference phasor I from the origin see this is our RC circuit through this resistor R we are getting the current I is flowing and the voltage across this R is VR as in case of a resistor voltage across the resistor and the current through that resistor are in phase therefore you will see if the current is going in this direction the voltage across the resistor VR will also go in the same direction so this is what written here draw the, draw the voltage phasor VR OB in phase with the reference phasor I from the origin this is our origin this red line segment will indicate our voltage phasor V R which is equal to I R this is the starting point of this V R and this is the terminating point of this V R after drawing the V R I will draw VC ok draw the voltage phasor VC as BC at the right angles to the current phasor from the terminating point of VR see we will start the VC from the terminating point of the VR and the voltage phasor VC will create a right angle or 90 degree with our 
current phasor. See in this capacitor the charging current will be I and the voltage across the capacitor is Vc as I have taken the current I in this direction. In a pure capacitor voltage across that capacitor will always lag the current by an angle of 90 degree. Therefore if I want to go from current phasor to voltage phasor I have to move by an angle of 90 degree in clockwise direction. So here you will see I have taken current phasor in this direction. Therefore, if I want to start the voltage phasor Vc from this terminal, from this point, our this Vc will represent our voltage phasor Vc or Ixc. I is going in this direction and the voltage across the capacitor is going in this direction which is the phasor form of the voltage and current in a capacitor okay so this is our vr and this is our vc this will create a right angle 90 degree angle okay that means this angle will also be 90 degree so here i will get this angle 90 degree and now see if i join o and c this oc will represent the sum of the vector of O B and B C which is the phasor of B therefore I can say that this O C vector or phasor will represent the applied voltage B in this circuit so this will be a right angle triangle see this angle is 90 degree so this will be a right angle triangle therefore sometimes this phasor diagram is known as voltage triangle because we have drawn the triangle by using three voltage components of this circuit V vr and vc now look this is our current phasor i and this is our voltage phasor v here you will see the voltage phasor v will lag the current phasor i by an angle of phi or i can say that in a capacitive circuit our current phasor i leads v by an angle of phi or v lags i by an angle of phi therefore you will see in a pure in a capacitive circuit our current phasor will always be phi angle ahead of the voltage phasor if in the rc circuit i apply an alternating voltage v equal to vm sin omega t in case of capacitive circuit current leads v by an angle of phi therefore i will get i equal to i m sin omega t plus phi that means the origin of the current waveform will be phi degree ahead of the origin of the voltage see if i take the voltage and currents in the y axis and omega t in the x axis let's say this is our voltage phasor v and this is our current phasor i and now look at the origin of the current this is the origin of the current and this is the origin of the voltage here you will see the origin of the current will be phi degree ahead of the origin of the voltage that means in a capacitive circuit our current i leads v by an angle of phi as the current or the origin of the current or the phasor of the current is ahead of the phasor of the voltage therefore in a capacitive circuit the power factor which is equal to cosine phi will be leading in the next video i will talk about impedance impedance triangle and power triangle real power reactive power apparent power of this series rc circuit okay that's it thank you